With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss one question on trigonometry. So here in this question, we need to find the maximum value of this given expression. So here we are given the expression as the one whole divided by in the denominator we have the sin square theta plus the thrice of sin theta cos theta plus 5 times of cos square theta and we need to find the maximum value of this given expression. So here we are given the expression as this. So let us first note down this expression here. So here we are given the expression as the 1 whole divided by in the denominator we have the sin square theta plus here we have the thrice of sin theta cos theta plus here we have the 5 times of cos square theta. Now, in order to find the maximum value of this complete expression, we need to find the minimum value of this denominator because when this expression is going to attain the maximum value, this denominator would be going to attain the minimum value because our numerator is always constant. So it will not affect. So here our expression is inversely proportional to this denominator. So we are going to find the minimum value of this denominator for finding the maximum value of this given expression. So now we are going to consider the denominator here. So here we have our denominator as the sin square theta plus here we have the thrice of sin theta cos theta plus here we have the 5 times of cos square theta. Now we are going to write the 5 times of cos square theta as the 4 cos square theta plus cos square theta. So here we have the sin square theta and we get 1 cos square theta from this 5 cos square theta. So here we get the cos square theta here plus here we have the thrice of sin theta cos theta. So we are going to write it like this. We are going to multiply and divide by 2. So here we have the 2 division and we have the 2 multiplication here. And we have the sin theta times of the cos theta like this. And here since we have considered 1 cos square theta here. So we are going to left with the 4 times of cos square theta. So here we have the 4 times of cos square theta. Now we are going to use one identity. We know that the value of this sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1. This is one identity. So by using this identity we are going to substitute this value as 1. So here we have the 1 plus here we have the 3 by 2 as it is and now we are going to write the value of the twice of sin theta cos theta. So we are again going to use one more identity we know that the sin 2 theta, the half angle formula is given by the twice of sin theta times of the cos theta. So let us say that this is the equation 2. So by using this equation 2, we are left with the sin 2 theta here. And here we have the plus 4 cos square theta. Now we are again going to use one more identity. We know that the cos 2 theta is given by the cos square theta minus sin square theta. This is also one of the half angle formula. Now we are going to convert this sin square theta into cos square theta. So it would be the cos 2 theta is equals to here we have the twice of cos square theta minus 1. So from this we can find the value of the cos square theta. So here we get the value of the cos square theta as the cos square theta would be the 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2. So here we have the 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 like this. So let us say that this is the equation 3. So now by using this equation 3, we are going to write the value of this cos square theta. So the cos square theta would be, here we have the 1 plus cos 2 theta whole divided by 4, whole divided by 2, like this. So this 2 goes over with this 4 and here we are left with the 2 in the numerator. So our denominator turns out to be, we are solving our denominator and our denominator turns out to be here we have here we have the 1 plus 3 by 2 times of the sin 2 theta like this and here we have if we multiply this 2 inside this bracket then we get the 2 plus twice of cos 2 theta like this. So here we have the 2 plus 1 that is 3. So if we solve this then we get our denominator as the 3 and we are left with here we have this term and this term. So now we are going to take the LCM. So if we take the LCM then we get here we have the thrice of sin 2 theta plus here we have the 2 to the 4. 
times of cos 2 theta whole divided by 2 like this now again we are going to take the lcm so if we take the lcm again then we get the 6 plus here we have the 3 times of sin 2 theta plus here we have the 4 times of cos 2 theta whole divided by 2 now we have got our denominator as this now in the question they have asked us to find the maximum value of this so this will attain the maximum value when the denominator will attain the minimum value so now we need to find the minimum value of this denominator so for finding the minimum value of this denominator we are again going to use one formula we know that if we are given the expression as the a times of sin theta plus the b times of cos theta plus c then if we have this expression then the minimum value of this expression the minimum value of this expression would be the c minus here we have the c minus the entire under root of a square plus b square so let us say that this is the equation number four so now by using this equation four we are going to find the minimum value of this denominator so here we have the denominator is this so the minimum value of this denominator would be we are going to take this one by two outside and here we have the minimum value of this expression that is a six plus here we have the thrice of sine two theta the thrice of sine two theta plus the four times of cos two theta like this and we need to find the minimum value of this here so here we have the minimum value now by using this equation four if we consider this equation four then from this we get the minimum value of this expression as we have the half outside and inside we have the c and the c here is six so here we have the six minus the entire under root of here we have the a square plus b square that is the three square plus four square so here we have the three square plus four square like this so this is what we have got so the minimum value of this denominator is the half of here we have the six minus if we solve this then here we get the entire under root of the 9 plus 16 so 9 plus 16 is 25 and the under root of 25 is 5 so here we get the 6 minus 5 that is 1 by 2 so we got the minimum value of the denominator is 1 by 2 now the maximum value of this expression is here we have the uh, numerator is 1 and in the denominator we have the minimum value of this denominator is 1 by 2 so the maximum value would be here we have the 1 whole divided by the minimum value the minimum value is 1 by 2 here so it would be the 2 so in the question they were asking about the maximum value of this expression and here we have got the maximum value of the expression as the 2 so this is our solution thank you For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.